What's up guys, this is Nick from Potenza Gaming. I'm kind of ticked off because I just did a live recording along with, while playing this game. And uh, as soon as I got done recording the audio, Audacity decided to take a poop on me. So uh, I lost 12 minutes of talking and it actually went pretty well. But hopefully <coughs> this will be even better. Uh, today I'm showing you some Battlefield 3, uh, the open beta footage. Um, if I kind of just stop exactly what I was talking and jump to something, it's because I was sh trying to show something in the video. Uh, as far as thoughts go about this game, I really uh, am a big fan of Battlefield, and uh, Battlefield 3, the beta, has not disappointed me so far. There's quite a few glitches, um, a lot, a lot of stuff DICE and EA has to iron out, but uh, yeah, three weeks, so hopefully they'll make something happen. Uh, I'm using the engineer class with PP2000, Red Dot, a G17, a Glock 17, which is not not the uh, full auto version like the G18, RPG uh, 7v2, and the repair tool, which is useless in the beta because there are no vehicles to repair. I also have unlocked the Stinger and the, the Russian anti-air um, missile or whatever, but as I said before, there's no vehicles in this match, so it's utterly worthless to use because there's nothing to shoot down. Um, as far as like the game mechanics go, uh, a couple glitches I've seen so far are that sometimes it will not let you aim down sights, uh, down sight, which is, I mean, it stinks, but uh. It hasn't totally screwed me yet because um, I've noticed that the hip fire in this game is ridiculously accurate. So uh, that saves me in quite a few positions. I uh, just got a double spray there. Um, I've noticed in this game a lot of people, I know with the whole squad thing, and that's not new from Battlefield 2, but for those who haven't seen it, you can spawn off a, like your teammate uh, in a squad, and you can have up to four people in a squad which is really cool for parties and stuff, but anyways, it's really easy to get double kills, triple kills, and even quadruple kills because um, you might have one guy and all of a sudden the entire squad will spawn on him and uh, oh, here's a knife, which I think is kind of cool, the way you grab uh, the dog tag as you stab him in the neck, but anyways, um, <coughs> You might have the entire squad spawn off one guy, and uh, they'll just be, you know, lined right up with you. And all you gotta do is hold down the trigger, and four kills just like that. Um, some cool, uh, uh, not add-ons, attachments for weapons. Uh, there's laser sights now, which can be good and bad. Uh, obviously, it shows you where you're aiming your weapon as you walk and look around. But it also is a dead giveaway for um, an enemy if you're walking in the dark, like in the subway in this p this game, uh, or in this match, because there's a little red Agent laser rise. dot sight just we have diffused the charge. going up walls and stuff. Um, let's see here. Uh, the reason I'm talking about the game more is because I've gotten a lot of requests for talking about the game. And I don't mind talking about the game, uh, I just, when I first created the channel, the goal was kind of, hey, let's not, let's stray away from that and let's talk about our lives and stuff, but if people don't want to hear about our stories and stuff, um, we can definitely throw in some uh, gameplay talk as well. Uh, um, let's see here, what else can I talk about? There's a lot of stuff in this game. Um, graphics wise uh, as you can see kind of like the water is real reflective and uh, there's a lot of detail in this map and I hope I hope uh, dice or EA or whoever's really responsible for it um, uh, okay obviously it's dice because EA is the publishing company but I hope all the other maps that uh, come with battlefield 3 has been lost. are as detailed as this Over. and I hope there's a couple smaller maps but uh just the the sheer size of this map blows me away. I mean, you go you go from a park to a subway to kind of like the lobby of the subway uh, back to uh, outside into the city. Uh, there's a lot of detail. 
um, a lot of destructible uh, terrain. Like when you get into the subway, you can blow up a lot of stuff, and uh, not as much as some maps in Battlefield 2, but uh, if they're anything like that, there'll be tons of stuff to blow up and houses to bring down and stuff like that. Uh, as far as like um, like gadgets go, when you first start off the recon, you do not get mortar strikes. I don't know if that's in the game. I haven't gotten that far, uh, especially in the recon class. I'm only level six or eight in this video, so uh, not anywhere near like the th 30s and 40s you see online. But instead of the mortar strike, you get a mobile spawn point, which is kind of cool because say you're uh, you're behind enemy lines and uh, you die if you leave your mobile spawn point out there and as long as nobody uh, the other team destroys it they can still your, your squad can still spawn off that so that gives you a huge advantage uh, as far as like a perk goes we're gonna put that in quotations I'm using the sprint perk which is essentially lightweight um, from Call of Duty uh, just makes you lighter um, oh that maybe aim down sights faster. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. But I also have unlocked the extra ammo. But uh, this is kind of a rushing class with the PP2000. It's not made for range. I'm not. I'm not dealing out tons of tons of shots before I die. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm amazing at this game or anything. I, I hold my own. I usually. I generally go positive, at least in the beta. Um, I'm, I'm pretty pretty aggressive. I don't I don't know if it's this right. game or what, but I don't see as much cam camping in this map. And once again, I'm not sure if it's just because it gets boring because it's such a huge place and you only see people once in a while that run by you. But uh, there is 32 people on, 32 person online, uh, which is ridiculous. And I think the PC has 64, so that's even crazier. But uh, there's definitely not a, a lack of people. But just with the size of map, it's hard. It's hard to have everything covered. But anyways, uh, a new th another thing they added was when you're being shot or uh, when there's bullets whizzing by you. Your screen will blur, and that just basically means that an enemy is putting down suppressive fire. Uh, you can still aim and shoot and everything, but it does make it definitely harder, and uh, does help them out a little bit. And another thing I liked about the recon classes that I miss um, in the Call of Duty games, well, World at War, I love the fact that you didn't have to have a scope on your sniper. Um, I'm not really sure why, but it, I, I just really enjoyed that. And I was toying around with attachments and stuff, and I found out you can take the scope off um, your sniper in this game. And essentially, if you're uh, on the American side, the mod MK11 turns into FAL. Basically, the two the two shots in the chest kill, or one in the head stuff. Um, so mm. I found that really neat. Um, I didn't test with like fire rates. I do have a modded controller, so I, I guess I could max out how fast I can shoot it, but um, I'm just not really into that right now. I, I'm i into the uh, more of the support class, which is like the new medic class with heavy weapons, and I also like the engineer a lot. And I I, I probably use the engineer most in Battlefield 2. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it's just because I like submachine guns, but uh, the whole launcher thing and I, it just seems like the most versatile class. Like you can do a lot, and you can really help your team. But if you get stuck in a situation, you can just fend for yourself. So I wouldn't say it's underpowered by any means. But um, uh, let's see here. Oh, in the video now, I'm showing how you can switch your gun from fully automatic to single shot, and that helps with far um, shot situations. And all you have to do is press down on the d-pad for most, most weapons and right there I was being shined in the eyes with a laser sight so I knew it was time to get out of there and that was an example of the single shot power um, it doesn't reduce the damage or anything still quite effective if you have even you know half decent uh, trigger finger uh, 
let's see here. That was a double kill. Just knock the suppressor. Not sure I'd use that on the PP2000 as the range is already ridiculously horrible. And that was a mutual kill. Another thing is the rib ribbon system. Uh, it's essentially... Uh, let's see. Oh. I wouldn't say it's like a the challenge system in... Call of Duty, but more of like the well, awards, no, like you, know, one shot, one kill. you just get it for doing various things. And hey, another thing, as I'm showing you in the video, is you can whip out your knife and have it as like your main weapon. I wouldn't say the main weapon, but you can just have it out like that. Um, it does come in handy um, if you're in a knifing mood, I guess. The knifing in this is pretty slow. I, I might have said that before, but. Uh, the knifing is basically just as a last resort panic. If you have no ammo or you're uh, reloading and there's a guy literally two feet in front of you, do it. There's no lunge. You're not going to lunge you know, 20 feet and fly out of nowhere and annihilate somebody. You have to be right up in their grill. Um, you know, a fight to the death situation. Um, there's no like other finishing moves or anything, but this is the last kill, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more... Battlefield, let me know. If not, also let me know. Thanks for watching.